dear learners number system is our today session discussion number system is broadly divided into real numbers and the second part is complex number what is real numbers any number lying between minus infinity to plus infinity is called real numbers see the number line okay minus infinity to plus infinity that is called a real axis we call it as real axis 0 1 2 3 4 up to positive infinity to the left of 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 up to negative infinity so any number lie, lying between negative infinity to positive infinity we call it as real numbers it is represented by the letter r used to um, represent using the letter capital letter r and come to the infinity what is this infinity infinity is not a number it is not a real number infinity is a defined and defined symbol it is a symbol which represent and defined part it is not a real number the second type of number system is complex number complex numbers definition is it's an ordered pair of real numbers for example a and b a and b are two real numbers if you write in this form ordered pair this is called complex number so how to represent complex number we used to say the letter z okay a plus ib form as z a and b are the real numbers the value of i is square root of negative 1 and we used to represent this form in z plane that's why we are using the letter z for complex numbers so number system is broadly divided into real numbers and complex numbers from class 1 till class 10 we used to go with real number discussion only from class 11 onwards we are dealing with complex numbers now come to real numbers types what are the numbers present in real numbers or how real numbers can be classify into different type of numbers first one whole numbers what is whole number w is a letter represented by representation for whole numbers w is a set of all 0 1 2 3 4 and so on now come to second type is natural number we used to represent natural number by the letter capital n is a set of all number 1 2 3 and so on this is called natural numbers okay 5 is a natural 10 is a natural number 0 is a whole number 0 never comes in the natural number now come to the third subset of real number these are all called subset of real numbers so integer is a third part we use the word z capital letter z to represent integer okay integer is a combination of positive and negative numbers of for example and so on negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 3 and so on so we have the positive integer as well as negative integer we used to represent for positive integer by the letter z plus and negative integer by the letter z minus so come combination letter combined form of integer letter representation is capital letter z now come to the next subset is rational number so what is rational number rational number is represented by the letter q okay is a set of all p by q form q not equal to 0 and remember p and q are integers p and q are integers if q become 0 p divided by 0 p divided by 0 is undefined form infinity by your calculator so for example 5 by 4 5 by 4 is a rational number 5 by 4 if you use by calculating calculator you will get 0.8 
0 0.8 is a rational form, rational number. Okay, you understand this? If I write p 5 by 0, 5 by 0 is not a real number. 5 by 0 is infinite. By using calculator, you can calculate. Now come to the next subset, irrational, irrational numbers. It is represented by the letter i. Okay, so for example, irrational number, very good example, root 2. What is root 2 value by using calculator 1.414213562? And so on. See this value, it is non repeating and non terminating. So, definition of irrational number is non repeating, non terminating. That is called irrational number. Another good example is root 3, 1.732. But if we can't say 1 by 4 as the rational number, 1 by 4 value is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is a terminated form. So it is a rational number. But 1.414213562 of root 2 is an irrational number. It represents non-repeating, non-terminating form. That's why it is called as irrational number. I will give a good example of this number system. See the set of 10 numbers I quoted here. You have to identify the type of number what I explained before. Or you can classify the name of the number. First example, root 2. Square root of 2 is an irrational number. I already told in my previous discussion root 2 value is 1.414 non repeating non terminating that's why it is called as irrational number now come to the second example 2 times root 3 root 3 is already irrational a number which is multiplied by irrational number is another irrational number so 2 times root 3 is an irrational number another good example pi pi is a symbol which represent 3.14159 pi is an irrational number okay come to the fourth example 1 by 4 1 by 4 is a rational number how if you calculate using calculator the decimal value of 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 terminated okay so 0 0.25 is a rational number now come to 2 1 by 4 2.25 Another good example for rational number. Come to the sixth one. 3 by 0. 3 by any number divided by 0 is undefined. Undefined value. Infinity. So it is not a real number. You have to answer it as not a real number. Now go to the seventh example. 22 by 7. This is rational number. P by Q form. Q not equal to 0. Now take the eighth one square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is not a real number square root of 16 you check it with your calculator 4 that is real number square root of negative 16 if you are checked with your calculator you will get math error that represent this is not a real number and defined form and come to infinity I already told infinity is a symbol which represent undefined it is not a real number answer is not a real number not a real number for the eighth one also and come to the last one 1 by 3 1 by 3 is a rational number the value of 1 by 3 by using calculator is 0 0.33333 a repeating and non terminating that is rational form 1 by 3 p by q q not equal to 0 this is rational number thank you i will continue the properties of real number in part 2 of my video thank you very much